right welcome to my channel or welcome back i'm intuitive empress <clears throat> excuse me thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today this is a general angel message for all signs so take what resonates and leave the rest in other words while you're feasting on this meal on today don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke on the bones all energy is timeless and fluid. So when you see this message, it is meant for you to receive it. There is a message there, either in the beginning, the middle, or the end. All right. Do not force things to fit. So eat the meat and don't choke on the bones. All right. I thank my subscribers for their love and support. If you are not a subscriber, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you know when the next video is available for you, okay? Don't forget to like this video if you are a subscriber, all right? All right. We are getting into this message. Here. This is the beginning energy. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels, the Most High God, Father God, have your way in this message. All right. We rebuke any negative energies, any voodoo, hoodoo, witchcraft. We send and return to sender. And we release your angels to send your blessings, your messages on today. What do they have from you on today from this? on today I'm trying to see if i can put the cards in the right spec in the right spot all right for the overall energy <clears throat> if you would like to donate to the channel that information is in the description as well as information on personal reads if you would like a personal read um you can also hit the thank you button and my etsy shop is there for the oracle cards that i use during my readings as well as jewelry it is the holiday season so Treat yourself. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody does not want this message to come out because I have not been coughing. And I don't have any colds or anything. Last card. Beginning messages and energy of this reading. All right. So we have... Excuse me. I just did this uh, reading. wasn't coughing like this. So I rebuke whoever's trying to stop these messages in Jesus' name. All right. Touching my throat, God. All right. So we have humor. Choose to look at the lighter side of life. You might be having a lot going on. You might have some relationships that you want to mend or are mending. All right, or someone may want to come in to mend a relationship with you, okay? So you can be open. You don't necessarily have to have that person um, there. Um, it's funny, I was talking to someone earlier in this week and something was not going away. And all of a sudden, I just started laughing and it was like, yeah, laugh um, instead of crying or uh, something of that nature. And sometimes you do laugh to keep from crying or sometimes in a bad situation something funny can happen and you laugh and it lifts your spirit those are your angels lifting your spirits okay <clears throat> we have unicorn all right we have success hope freedom healing and power are all available to you if you just believe okay so um your angels are telling you that you have you know, all of these positive things around you, okay? Whether you mend a relationship or a relationship that you wish to mend <clears throat> does not work in your favor um, or work out the way you want or you get that closer that you want. And excuse me, like, I'm just so sorry. Um, I'm actually going to get some water. Um And everything before we continue. So please excuse me for one second, but I can continue talking to you. There is success. There is 
uh, harming their injectors there for you. Okay? So look at this. doing the thing that you're doing maybe the mending that you need to have done is in your heart <clears throat> from hurts from the past okay take it as it resonates all right well, we're going to go into the angel tarot deck to see what else the holy spirit have and i'm gonna split this in two because my little hands holy spirit what messages do we have do you want the community to know? All right. <clears throat> wow. Okay. So you have experienced some challenges, but you have been determined in a face of resistance. Um, that's what I'm seeing for you. You had these oppositions. You could have had one, two, three, four, six trials that you had to stand your ground for. This is a card of standing your ground. Um, so you might have to stand your ground as you move into whatever area you need to. All right. You could be the empress. All right. In this situation, someone who's nurturing, someone who's full of love. As you can see, the shield here is love. Is is a heart with the feminine sign on it. So this is feminine energy. All right. <clears throat> We have the rabbit that symbolizes fertility and also the baby. This could be the birth of a new idea. Okay. This is um, divine feminine energy. So even if you do not have children, that's the divine feminine um, energy there. Okay. So um, if you're a male energy, you could have had to stand your ground when it came to um, choosing who you chose as divine feminine. Um, this is also... Um, a card, the Empress card of creation, abundance, and action. So you could have had to stand your ground when it came to doing what you're doing for a living. People might not agree with it, but it's going to lead to abundance for you. Okay. Um, we have uh, the strength card. All right. Which symbolizes strength, the eternal power of the strength of the Most High God, because you have the affinity symbol. No beginning, no end. So you have the Most High on your side. All right. We do have the Lion of Judah as well um, <clears throat> and everything like that who um, is fighting for you and fighting your battles along with you. Okay. So don't, um, you know, allow yourself to be stressed or stressed out. If you're overworking or you're a workaholic, you might need to take some time for yourself. Um, get some balance in your life, all right? Because here on a ten of fire, you have um, this person is working hard, but you see it's like a penny on a table, all right? So you could be working hard and not getting in the um, resources that you think you should have, um, working hard and barely making ends meet, all right? This could have been you in the past. <laughs> excuse me, feeling like some things are um, unfair, okay? But there is news coming in with the Eight of Fire, okay? This is normally the Eight of Wands, all right? It is about speed, activity. Um, you could be multitasking, again, working multiple jobs, doing multiple things on your regular job, um, doing more than other people and not getting the knowledge for, from it, okay, feeling like you have been stabbed in the back, okay, because we have the Ten of Air, which is a Ten of Swords, it is about in, endings, but it's also about recovery and freedom, so you are going to recover those things that you feel like you lost or you did not get in past seasons, um, the last reading was about a new chapter, um, it had the 711 energy, so check that out, all right, if you have been going through uh, these things here, all right, we have the release, letting go of the past. Again, we have um, an ending. 
um, of something. We had the Ten of Swords, which was like the ending, but also freedom. And we have transformation and freedom here. So you could be going through a transformation, rising from the ashes like a phoenix. Again, because we had this card here where you were overwhelmed in the past, where you were working hard and not bringing anything um, little to nothing in. All right, but this is about you transforming. This is people may have thought that you were not going to rise up again. All right, or you were going to be stuck where you are. So you have the Phoenix card there, rising from the ashes, the Holy Spirit giving you beauty for ashes. All right, um, we have the two of fire here. All right, this is about planning. This is about partnership. So God could be bringing in um, a partnership for you. You could be seeing feathers around. So that could be a symbolism of, of angels being around you. All right. This is about pro progress. Okay. Wow. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before we move on? Yep. Oh, wow. The last card that came out was the Six of Fire. This is victory. You see all of your opponents have been defeated, okay? And you have recognition, finally, for your hard work and um, building up esteem. On the bottom of the deck, we have renewal. You are being renewed. Your spirit is being renewed. Um, you may have been taking time to reflect, evaluating. It's a card of rebirth, being reborn, okay? <clears throat> because you might have been looking back that I've been doing this career like forever, Mm, I'm hearing it. I've been doing this career forever and it hasn't amounted out to anything. And for some of you, you may have, or I've been in this relationship and it didn't amount to anything or this relationship um, blew up. Okay. So um, it, it just could have been a lesson or not could have been. It was a lesson learned for, uh, for you um, <clears throat> and everything. And now it's time for you to move on from that. Um, you are rising from the ashes like a phoenix, all right? Um, Holy Spirit may have been working on your self-esteem because, and that's why you allow certain things to um, happen and unfold the way they did. Maybe you didn't stand up for yourself in the past. Um, take it as it resonates. But now you have the confidence to do. Maybe you didn't have confidence to step out on your own to move that from... Um, for somebody, you didn't have the confidence to move out to this new job or start this new business. But as you went through these things now, these things are coming to light for you. <clears throat> Take it as a resonance. All right, we're going to move on and get some clarity. What else do we have for the angel messages? Ooh, okay. Um, Holy Spirit is saying, recognize that signs from above. You see the feather. You could be seeing feathers. You could be seeing butterflies, which symbolizes transformation. You could be seeing angel numbers. Like I said, uh, 444. Um, I saw the angel number of uh, 711. Um, and, um, you know, the Holy Spirit provoked me to come and give a message. So check out that message from earlier. Um, what's going on when it comes to finances? But you have the dove here that symbolizes peace. So are you seeing doves? Are you seeing birds flying around? Um, or landing next to you, looking at you, staring at you, recognize those signs. The angels are sending you messages right now. They're even sending you messages in this reading. All right. So take what resonates. Um, so it's but the Holy Spirit is saying you're too distracted to, to notice the signs. So pay attention, stay alert and be open to divine guidance. OK. Um, like I said, even in this message. Um, I know some people click off if it's not about love or, um, you know, if my person coming back. But Holy Spirit may have a divine message for you when it comes to your overall life that will attract your person to you. OK, um, your divine person, the person that's supposed to be there for you. OK, <clears throat> so pay attention. The Holy Spirit for some of you or for someone, the Holy Spirit has been telling you that the person that you wanted the person that you are seeking is may not be the person for you that's what i'm hearing so take that as it resonates um prioritize your self-care all right 
you do so much for others, as we saw in the last day, and you work hard, it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you for those of you who um, it's hard for you to ask for help. I'm one of those people too. It's hard for me to ask for help, but sometimes I have no choice but to ask for help because I'm so used to doing for others that sometimes those things go lacking. And for some of you, this is what this is. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video out. All right. <clears throat> your angels are telling you to pray from your heart. All right. A prayer can really move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold for you. And I am a living witness for that. Okay. I have seen my prayers walking. Okay. Um, I do tell him what's on my heart. You'll have people say, oh, it's a certain way you're supposed to pray. I have not found that to be true. The most powerful prayers and the ones that I see walking are the ones that I ask God and I talk to him from my heart. Okay. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit is telling you don't settle for less. Okay. You are a child of the most high, the divine. And you deserve to have your dreams come true. This is what the angels are telling you. Don't give up. All right. Open up to your spiritual gifts. Mm. So for some of you, um, God is telling you not to settle for less, to pray from your heart, take care of yourself, recognize the signs that he's sending you, and finally open up to your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. We are spiritual beings in an earthen vessel okay this is what y'all need to understand because when this body um no longer functions okay when this vessel is finally worn out we still remain in spiritual in the spiritual realm as spiritual beings okay the angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth that's right. That's right. On the bottom of the deck, it says, take control of your thoughts. You can take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome you truly desire. Trust in your divine purpose. Mm. This experience has a divine meaning that you're going through. Healing is coming. The mending is coming. Know that you are on a path of growth. Also with the unicorn, a unicorn is a unique being. There is no other animal like this animal. Okay. The Bible says he will give you strength like the horn of a unicorn. Okay. So you are unique. Even in this, it's like, oh, the unicorn, that's the different person. It's okay to be different because you have a purpose. Everyone is not like you. Everyone does not have the purpose that you have. You were sent here specifically and uniquely to do what you are supposed to do. All right. For those of you who are looking for love, someone new is coming into your life. All right, an important new relationship is on the horizon. This could be love. This could be um, a friend or friendship. This could be a business partnership, but it is going to be a peaceful situation with this person. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life, whatever that situation uh, is. And know that everything is going to be happening all in the perfect timing. Uh, this is it it is time to take action now all right this is for somebody may not be for everybody i will be there to help you in every step of the way now mind you we went from the angels talking to now the holy spirit talking to you that path is leading to have the heavenly realm this is the time that the holy spirit will be talking to you in prayer and outside of prayer Okay. Wow. All right. We're going to wrap up this message with some final messages. I can't believe the time on this already. I thought this message was going to be a little short. <laughs> Come to find out it's the normal length. 
All right. So that is the final message here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. All right. So we have trust your faith. Dive into the unfolding journey. And then we have the question, what is your faith asking you to do? Faith is an action word. What action is your faith telling you to take? All right. So that is the message that I have for you on today. Thank you for joining me at the table. And I hope to see you again at the table next time. Bye-bye.